Miss Shevchenko, welcome back to BT Sport. How the devil are you? You well? Thank you so much. Feeling good. Yes, getting ready for a big fight. We've got a, a huge fight, obviously, live on BT Sport, UFC 266, you against Lauren Murphy. Before we talk about that, um, we've been racking our brains of how to do a little bit of a different interview with you. Um, because as I look around at UFC athletes and I look at your Instagram, I think you are a shining example to how athletes should portray themselves. So if you don't mind, I've gone through um, your Instagram, picked out a couple of pictures that you have posted, and I'd love you to tell the story of uh, the, the the picture, if that's okay. Does that work for you? It sounds good. Sounds perfect. Let's do it. Brilliant. Brilliant. So let's do it. Let's do a little bit of a live story. So we'll start with this one, shall we? I'm, gonna I'm, mm -hmm. I'm taking you back there to 2015. Talk me through that. Look at you there, eh? Fantastic. So this is, this um, uh, picture was for my legacy kickboxing fight. And it was legacy kickboxing here in the United States. So, yeah, it's kind of was preparation for the fight, fight week. Yeah, and it was like uh, good moments, very, uh, very bright, uh, my experience with the legacy promotion. How easy was it to make the decision to come fully over to MMA off the back of uh, of your time with the legacy brand? It was just uh, happening naturally. And when time um, turned, when there was more opportunities to find a fight in MMA for female fighters uh, rather than Muay Thai. And yeah, it was nationally, uh, uh, naturally uh, like happening. And this is the the story of the transition. <laughs> <laughs> let's um let's have a look at one of your hobbies here because uh, I do thoroughly get entertained when you are at the uh, the shooting range. Talk me through that picture. That looks that looks serious. <laughs> yeah, this picture was made here in Las Vegas in Pro Gun Club range, um, where we very like to go because it's kind of like open space, you can shoot there like, and it's very entertaining and it's very close to our house. And I very like, and I very enjoy to go there. And this particular was uh, actually filming for the one of the uh, countdowns for UFC. And I had experience to shoot 50 caliber. So it was like a uh, super huge. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realize that obviously shooting arms was, was a, a thing for you? I know that this is gonna sound crazy that it's a place to go and relax, but it's a place to go and switch off and, and, and have some different type of enjoyment rather than fighting. I would say it's not a hobby, it's a um, lifestyle. And it's different because um, when it's lifestyle, you want to understand how everything works in every single detail. You mm. want to be better every in every single uh, thing what you're doing. That's why definitely not hobby, lifestyle. <laughs> well, with that then, let's look at this next um, picture because obviously Halle Berry, huge fan of yours. I know that you're a huge fan of hers and, and recently as well, um, you've been working together on a film. Firstly, talk me through the picture and that moment. Yeah, it was after defending my title and she was there. She came to support me and it was amazing feeling because we spent, um, I don't know, uh, a long time together <laughs> getting ready for filming, having training and all of this. And yeah, now finally in November, November 25th, the movie gonna come out and uh, yeah i hope um, uh, yeah it's gonna be great we're excited about that too so obviously acting is a thing that you are you're a big fan of you're also a big fan of this dancing <laughs> obviously <laughs> and i'm taking you back to peru maybe a lot of fans that are watching this don't know that you obviously resided in, in peru for a period of time and you were on this tv show yeah, it was reality show. It, uh, it's called Combate. It was a uh, uh, disappear doble, as they call it, when it's like uh, two dancing and competing for the first place. So uh, me and my partner, we won the first place and it was amazing experience. I, be I believe that one of the disciplines, one of the challenges was, was wrestling as well. And even against male competitors, you had to wrestle against male competitors. And I believe that you, <laughs> you submitted one of the guys. Is this true? 
he was boxer, but uh, was doing some uh, wrestling in his uh, life earlier in his life. So yeah, but nothing of um, like grappling submission. So uh, the good thing of being live, you actually can manage the rules because no one will uh, kind of like okay they started okay let's do wrestling and say okay if we are doing wrestling let's do with the submissions <laughs> so it was kind of like uh, improvisation on the go but yes yes i submitted him <laughs> <laughs> um let's take you back home here look at this one this is from when you were a little one that's you on the right hand side obviously your sister a little bit older than you on the left and your mum in the middle talk to me about this uh, it look is, is this around christmas time it looks uh, like uh, it's it's not our mom. It's, you know, it was a celebration of New Year. And I okay. see the sign of 1991. It's like a Santa Claus, but in Russian time. Snigurachka. It's like a, a girl from the snow, <laughs> made from the snow. And she is like a character of Snigurachka. That's why all children was like taking picture with her. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Um, check this one out. This is back to one of uh, the things that you are dedicating yourself to. That is an absolutely massive fish. Uh, I think this picture was made in uh, Hawaii, and this, okay. tuna, this summer we made um, a wonderful trip. Uh, we live on board on the boat for two months, and we wow. were uh, navigating through the Puget Sound in Washington State. All, all travels are great, but it was kind of like on a boat. It was totally different. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Listen, I've got a few more pictures for you. We've got you there, obviously, in training camp alongside uh, Rose Nami Hunas. Talk me through the picture. Yeah, it was um, Colorado, Denver. Yeah, and it was like hard trainings every day with Rose, with like all guys from 303 Training Center. And yeah, definitely it was an amazing experience as always. <laughs> Could you see maybe a possibility of Rose stepping up in week to challenge you in the in the future? Maybe a, a fight between you and her? For me, it's kind of uh, looks weird to find mm. your friend. The same question what I ask him all the time to find your sister. And it's kind of like super <laughs> weird. I like, what people are thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sister one is definitely weird. Definitely, no doubt about that. Let's have a look at the next picture. Um, because this must have been an extremely proud moment for you. Yes, it was um, year 2019 with the uh, president, that time president of Kyrgyzstan. Uh, yeah, I was honored with the, like, um, the most honorably uh, like, um, uh, recognition of the country. Yeah. Definitely, it's kind of like was a special moment for me. I can imagine. Listen, the next picture might slightly upset you. Um, let's have a quick look at it. Obviously, you believe that you won it. Is that something that you want to go out again and maybe step up to Bantamweight and have another go? For now, kind of like we both has our own things going on, own fights, uh, plan for the future. Like my upcoming fights, she gonna fight Juliana Pena. And yeah, it all depends how the uh, times work and if Destiny wants it to happen, it's gonna be. Absolutely. Um, I've got two more pictures that I would love to show you because I know that you're incredibly proud of your family and your family heritage. There's a picture here. Talk me through the picture. It's a beautiful picture. Yeah, it was in time when he was in um, in army. Uh, there is a sign. It says Tikhagansky Flood and mm -hmm. it's like a um, um, uh, Pacific Ocean. Uh, like marine where we uh, where, where, where he was like serving yeah my dad he passed away a few years ago and yeah he's like uh, he's um in this picture he's very young very handsome very beautiful and I'm so proud to be his daughter <laughs> that's beautiful words well I'm going to skip on not the next picture but the picture after because I want to keep it on the family theme this one here you and your sister are consistently creating history First, talk to me about this picture and then talk to me about what it means for you to be on this mixed martial arts journey around the world alongside your sister. Uh, so Korea, South Korea, 2005, uh, my uh, second uh, time when I won World MMA Championship in Korea. Mm. 
their promotion and uh, like just to have this person that uh, you know it's gonna uh, uh, she's gonna be always by your side it's like uh, support for anything that you're doing um, it's kind of like uh, I don't know, it's, uh, people say like, what is your motivation for keep doing that? And I, I think this is the uh, major answer. My family is my big, biggest motivation. <laughs> what a beautiful answer. Listen, I've got one more question. We've, we're done with the pictures now, Valentina. Thank you so much for, for <laughs> humoring me with that. I just, I think our audience would have loved to obviously learn more about you. And thank you very much for talking us through some of those uh, fantastic pictures. Obviously UFC 266, live on BT Sport coming up. Um, uh, in 10 days time now from this interview. Talk to me about Lauren Murphy and the challenge that she uh, p- p- poses in front of you ahead of your now sixth title defense. You know, I'm getting ready for all my fights to all my opponents very like hard way. I don't believe there is someone easier than the other one. I don't believe that because on in this uh, level of competition, there is no easier, uh, easier opponent. And everyone possesses um, um, dangerous things and you have to be ready for anything. That's why um, when I do training camp, it's like, uh, it's nothing about smile, nothing about enjoy your training it's hard trainings and you have really push uh, uh, yourself to your limit every single day and i'm ready i'm ready physically i'm ready uh, uh, like mentally i'm ready for this fight and i know it's gonna be big fight big event big night with uh, all other athletes on the card and everything that i need to do be myself and what is i want to do it's just show the best of me fantastic listen valentina hopefully next time we speak to each other uh, it won't be over zoom it'll be face to face because i've got a request the next time we do see each other one of my colleagues that i work with wants to learn the dance that you do <laughs> in, in celebration the octagon celebration dance at the end when you when, when you win he wants to learn that so next time we're all together if you could teach him that that would be fantastic uh, we have a deal now <laughs> and it's going to be my pleasure to teach some moves from the dance. And you know what? I was surprised you didn't have a picture of my sister flying a plane. <laughs> ah, next time. Next time. That's what we'll do next time. <laughs> Valentina, listen, enjoy fight week. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye.